Hello everyone, welcome to another fine episode of Who's an Anime with your host Stephen Pallon. And we're continuing down this rabbit hole of saving Mayuri in Steinsgate. So close. So close. Yeah, so far away. So we're covering... So, so, so far. Yeah. We're covering episodes, what, 21 and 22 today? Yes. Good. Uh, That's what I watched. Where we... That is a positive. Uh, now, where do we get? Oh, yeah, we're at the point now where... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Okabe has realised that uh, in in changing the final D-mail, uh, it's going to put things back to the way they were when he found Kurosa murdered at the start of the series. On the very first episode, yeah. Yeah, which, <laughs> as I mentioned last week, I'm confident we, I may have even said that at some point during the... <laughs> I, I never went back and listened through our madness, but I feel like I brought that up before. <laughs> That's possible. That's, I mean, yeah. I've just played it down low, I think. Just because, yeah. you know, yeah. I don't want to uh, spoil things. No, I don't spoil it. Don't yes. spoil it. So, I've got... Uh, I need to... I, I've had to try really hard not to watch the last two episodes just yet until we'd recorded this one. <laughs> um, so, at least, at least there's that. Yeah, is um, it? Is it the shakes, the cold shakes? You're like, what? Well, I, I started watch. watching. Uh, started watching Ranking of Kings to, to to tide me over. All right. Um, that's that's been pretty good. That's and then good. Stranger Things also had me sort of distracted for a little bit, which was good. Yeah, I've never watched any of Stranger Things. It's definitely worth a watch. Oh, um, wait till it's finished and then get cancelled uh, on Netflix and then not be on Netflix oh, it, it, <laughs> it's uh, it's gonna fit it's finishing its second last season at the beginning of July second last season at the beginning of July yeah. yeah that's the last two episodes I think of the fourth season get released at the beginning of July and then they're gonna do one more season alright okay so this is the penult penultimate season then yeah it's been uh it's been really good it's probably the best season since the first one i think yeah are you going to get a tattoo on... I'm, I'm not i'm not going to do that <laughs> I, 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 I don't i don't i don't get it i don't get why people think that would be all right but okay <laughs> uh, i mean it's a bunch of numbers yeah 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 in the same way that the swastika is just a bunch of shapes. Yeah, it's just, it's just a bunch of lines. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not... Yeah, it's just people not thinking. People just need to think just a little bit more. It's like a tiny bit. Like, Because uh. in, sh- in the show, the point of it is that it's a symbol of slavery and being lesser than... Wait. Which was the 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 rationale behind the numbers? Wait, wait, wait. Before, it's it's still. I see. Like I said, I've never watched it, so it still has the same connotation in the show. It's as, that's that's why the show. That's why the show is it, as it a gets holiday. a pass because the the point of it is is that it's sort of supposed to be reminiscent of of the original meaning behind the numbers. Oh uh, yeah, well, okay. Now I know that fact. That's why. That's, yeah, that's that, why that... people don't so much get a pass when it comes to, uh, you know, getting the tattoo. <laughs> oh, people are fucking idiots. Anyway, um... Yeah, yeah, they're they're dumb. See, um, I, oh, I, I that, just thought yeah. it was like a, I don't know, some other cool tattoo. It wasn't anything to put down people down. No. But, but no, no, in, in the show, it's something to put something down. Did, did you ever play Galarian's? Is that that weird kind of sci-fi psychic game that I it's never the played? Psychic children game. Yeah. Yeah. You, you yeah, claim yeah, yeah. it was it's on that one. PS1, but I'm sure I saw it on PS2. Oh, the sequel's on PS2. Oh, maybe that's one the one I saw. It the fir- the first one's on PS1. 
Uh, the first one's good. I never played the second one. I actually have no idea what the second one's like at all. Yeah. But um, the whole... It, that's kind of what Stranger Things is like. It's about a bunch of psychic kids. Mm-hmm. And uh, they are held in a laboratory and they are just referred to as their numbers. Oh, okay. They don't have names. They, so it's... it's <sighs> yeah. It kind of goes back to Serial Experiments Lane in uh, episode Kids, I think it was. Yeah, actually, yeah, like a little bit like that. Yeah. There's definitely a vibe there. Um, I think it's like it's the whole thing of it is the idea is that it's it's um it's that th- they're not important enough to have names. It's just the the numbers what matters because the numbers like as long as I can reference this thing that I'm testing, it's going to be okay. Well, so yeah, it just dehumanizes them in a weird way. That's what they say about when you're um, breeding animals to slaughter. Don't ever name your animals. It's a hell of a lot harder yeah, to no. kill them. Yeah, I, 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 I can't imagine it would be... Pro- Although I'm pretty sure uh, Gordon Ramsay uh, got his kids to name their pet pig uh, and then murdered it for them. Well, I think... Um, I think he's on a whole nother level. He is. I think he's definitely been a head chef. <laughs> a head chef in <laughs> some restaurants has... Uh, Essentially made them maybe not sane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I guess in in short, uh, albeit maybe slightly ham-fisted, uh, uh, Stranger Things gets away with having those wrist tattoos. And hey, people, maybe maybe don't get those. Just don't get them. Maybe, but maybe don't do that. You got a you got a wrist tattoo. I do, but it's a, it's a it's a vampire one because <laughs> yeah. I'm cool. No, <laughs> well, it's not the same connotation. Essentially, it's like you you show your allegiance to the clan, but make you like a familiar or something. Well, yeah, let's maybe not use my name and allegiance to the clan in the same sentence. <laughs> but yeah, like <laughs> I did not use your name. No, that's that's that is true. The only time um, I mentioned your name I was th- at the start. <laughs> People will definitely not be able to figure that out. At least, um, I definitely got. Uh, it's, it's what's called a familiar's tattoo, a familiar's marking. Mm-hmm. That's what I have. So, yeah, it's it is a show. It is a show of allegiance. Yeah, and I'm sure that's what you call them, vampires, clans. Well, I don't know. You got uh... yeah, actually, that's a, that's a good point. Actually, um... yeah, no, uh... probably looking at vampires and masquerade stuff. Yeah, I did actually. It's like the first hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... That's a crazy. There's a. a uh... Are the clans or families? Covens is another one. That's normally witches, I would have thought, though. That, I, I put those to work, the witches, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I, because the, 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 uh, hang on. There's, like, there's a whole, it, they're, they're family names. Yeah. Because, um, so oh, you know bug the... me now. You know what family you... Houses. 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 Oh. Ash, Sienteto, Dragonetti, Faustinus, Kobajitsu, Lemur, Legaru, Lobishman, Palantin, Upier, and Von Esper are the ones I know. They're, those are the ones mentioned in Blade anyway. Oh, all right. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know how close uh, Blade follows Vampire and the Masquerade or what. Oh, they're called houses. Yeah, in that. In Blade. Too. Yeah. Yeah. So, mine is uh, mine's a made-up one though, because I, I think there's actually some line- some um, history of the other ones in in like other literature, mm-hmm. but the one I got is the one for Deacon Frost, who's Stephen Dorff's character from Blade. Oh. Uh, as you can see there, for for those of you on camera, there you go. Yeah, it's like lie. L- or little, I've heard said. Little, yeah. Which is pretty good. Could be a little. Yeah. 
Um, Definitely potential there. But, uh, it's like lithium. Li. Yeah. Li is lithium. Is isn't lithium, it? lithium. Li might be lithium. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the periodic table. I never took chemistry at school. So. Did you not? No, I was at. Physics. I took it physics. I took physics and uh, craft and design was the the period that counteract with each other. It was either chemistry or craft and design. I might want to take chemistry since I was shit at craft and design. <laughs> I did not do anything with any artistic flair at school. I stuck to stuff that had very clear pass fail conditions. <laughs> I I don't know. I. I I think I went down craft and design so to try and learn how to actually do stuff. I did I did work. technical studies, that's slightly different. And then I did home economics for a little bit as well. Oh. And uh of all of all the things that uh home economics teaches you, which to my opinion there was not a great significant amount of value in it for me, <laughs> um I do know how to sew. So I will and I, I won't forget that, so. So it is a good one. I got to say, whenever I did home economics at school, for whatever reason happened, the teacher was always pissed off at someone in the class and uh, cancelled the project that we were doing. It's like, oh yeah, you're not doing that anymore. We're going to be doing this now. It's like, what? We're going we're gonna to cut a grapefruit in half, put some brown sugar on it and stick it on under a grill. That's what I did in home economics and <laughs> I fucked that up. What? the hell what, what, what is that what 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 type of meal is that like that and then fucking scrambled eggs and i think we made a fruit cake one year yeah i don't know i my job my job i'm i work in schools and my last mm-hmm. base uh because I, I don't work as a teacher or anything because fuck that's just no I wouldn't do that. No, I would be the nope. I'd be the teacher to throw a desk at the kids. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so I didn't I didn't go down that profession for um, reasons of sanity. I mean, yep. that's fair. Fair enough, and you can do it. I I don't have time for them. Anyway, um, you, oh right, fair enough. You can teach. I thought it was like, fair enough. You could throw a desk at someone. I was like, yeah, I mean, you could. <laughs> Maybe I'll bulk up at that point. Um, <laughs> but anyway, my my base for the. IT technician as uh was kind of based on the same floor as the home economics class and all the, the mm-hmm. cooking and the, I tasted it and it always went it always smelled pretty good but then I spoke to like some of the other colleagues like the actual technicians for the school you know the people that, that prepare the science stuff mm-hmm. and, and, they, and they went yeah 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 don't very much done it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, anyway, so home economics for me, I basically learned not very much in the sense that everything changed like every week. It's like, so for the next three weeks, you're going to learn to cook. Mm-hmm. Week one, we do something. Week two, yeah, no, we're not doing that now. For the next three weeks, you're going to design your own clothes and make them. Week one. No, that's not happening. Week two. Okay. And then... And that was it. That was basically home economics for me. Uh, and then, Man. I did, like I say, I did craft and design and it wasn't very good. But at the same time, in craft and design, I end up with a supply teacher. So it's... Fair enough. Yeah, for, for, I, I don't know. If, is that a common term outside of the UK? Supply teachers? I don't know. Let us know in the comments. It's essentially a substitute. Yeah, a substitute teacher. Yeah. Yeah. So you come in because whatever reason your teachers had a mental breakdown or retired and they don't have a replacement. <laughs> for, for whatever reason. Dealing with children. Yeah. Uh, I uh, I could never be a teacher. No. No, neither can I. Was, um, my English teacher, she had a mental breakdown. I'm sorry that she did. And... There's a good reason for that. She just couldn't handle the class. I don't know why she became a teacher. I there many many having 
two kids, one of school age. Uh, I have had many conversations about how teachers are so much better and so much more equipped to deal with kids these days, which I think is amazing. Because uh, I remember the teachers I had and they were not really equipped to deal with children. They were people who were intelligent and could, te- you know, lecture on a subject mm-hmm. of whatever it was. But just the only thing was they just didn't, th- th- that wasn't a prerequisite to be good with kids to work in a school. No. In our day. No, no. Uh, and we were in There's the... a much bigger focus on just being able to understand kids and, and you know, work with them, which... Thank God they made that change. <laughs> that makes much more sense. I mean, uh, yeah, back in the early, we were kind of well. I was least in the kind of transition of all the old school teachers who learned yeah. who were allowed to beat the children up if they were bad, <laughs> and, <laughs> and maybe not quite as bad as that, but it can be at least quite brutally honest to them. Um, yeah, had a few of those, and then uh, that's for sure. Yeah, and that was like all of a sudden they weren't. They can give you the belt as was our the punishment here that came with England. Yeah, they. I never. That never happened while I was in school, but they definitely threatened and yeah. talked about the good old days <laughs> when they could, <laughs> uh, when they could, you know, beat kids within an inch of their life hmm. for maybe using their left hand instead of their right. It worked so um, well with my dad. I think on his last yeah. day of school, he tied up a teacher. Oh, nice. I know that my dad's school, uh, they put a teacher's car on the roof of the school. Oh, nice. That's, that's, that's quite smart. No, my... Um, I don't know how they did that, but they did it. My dad's old school. Uh, so he was like in the time when you had like different schools. Do you remember like you had like, you didn't always just went to a secondary school as such. There was like, you had primary and you went through primary and then... yeah. yeah. Judging by who you were or what you were, you got put into a different school. It's so like, can't remember. I don't know what they were called, but they were like schools where all the bad boys would go to, and then they would uh, get chucked out of school about fourteen, fifteen. It's sort of like the the trade school era. Yeah, it was, it was basically then the trade school era. So that's what that that was. And he he was in that yeah. that type of school, so he he left school probably. 13, 14, uh, no, not 13, 14, Shit. but 15. But the early age, because then they moved, they, in my time of school, it was like 16 you can drop out of school at. Yeah, me too. Uh, or you can continue your studies on. My dad was, didn't, wasn't allowed to continue his studies on. He got kicked <laughs> and he came an apprentice at the, at the docks in Glasgow. Shit. I think. No, I uh, yeah. hung about until I was 18, or close enough, near as damn it. Well, until you finished your term, six years. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> finished my sentence, and then went on to not do very well in other places. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I was like the old, one of the oldest kids in my year, just the way, the way my birthday fell. Yeah. I mean, so I, I, I got turned 18. Your, your March birthday, right? So Yeah, I was 18. Yeah, yeah. I, had, uh, I had friends who had uh, who had April birthdays. Yeah. That's... And uh, they were the ones who were... Uh, I was going to say they were the ones who were drinking. They were the ones who were legally drinking while they were at school. <laughs> oh, in the, in, on the grounds? <laughs> no, no. There were... Uh, I, I remember one particular gruesome night of going out on the town on a Wednesday evening, which was dumb in itself. And then night. not feeling particularly great. And then going in school and having first two periods be double maths. It was like this is hell. Oh. Why why did I why did I do this? I I like double maths. My math teacher picked on I, me. She was also my registration teacher. <laughs> Oh, nice. I was bad at maths. So, uh, yeah, I suppose let's translate then. So, uh, primary school would be what uh, they you would call kindergarten and junior high? Is it ju- junior high, maybe? I don't know what comes after. Well, I'd, uh, I'm sure, man. I don't... 
We'll understand. Yeah, yeah. You got to go through junior, the junior high, K- kindergarten, uh, and then junior high, and then middle school, and then high school. I think is how it works. Oh, in the U.S. at least. Yeah, I think it's similar in Japan, going by all the school anime that we watch. Yeah, and then like school I think days. They have. They also have like nursery is called pre K, maybe. All right, I thought kindergarten was nursery. No, kindergarten. I always thought that too. Uh, I think kindergarten is like five and six. Oh, 80s. 80s, uh, five and six. Ranging from, ranging from the ages of two to six, apparently. Oh, yeah, so that is nursery. But also older than I expected. Yeah, so it's like a weird... Make sure nursery in primary one, primary two. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, Don't learn much in primary one. Shapes. No. Uh. Should we go on with this? Um. We should probably go on with this. Uh, yeah. So we're talking about Steins Gate, really. We are, and it's it's episode twenty one, one and twenty two today. Twenty one and twenty two, because that's the ones I watched. Yeah. Those are the ones you watched. And uh, yeah. So uh, well, this one. What, what have you got? What's this one called, Colin? Oh, Give this it one. To me straight. Oh, it's yep. Let, let's have a look and bring out the phone. Got loading I'm up that. Looking forward to deleting those episodes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, chicken hair. The weird yeah, Jones thing. That's the thing. Paradox Meltdown for 21. Yep. Sweet. We're on it. Yep. So as we said uh, in the previous episode, we've uh, Okabe has just come to the realisation that if he makes the changes to the D-mail mm-hmm. uh, or to the timeline by deleting the information from certain servers about their little experiment then uh, that's going to cause the shift they want. It's going to save Mayuri, but it's actually going to likely kill uh, Kurusa. Yeah, he sees... Um... Oh, she doesn't know that. And she was all like, oh, yeah, once you do this, uh, it'd be great. And then she, yeah. she'd be like, but... And then he just kind of looks at her in a dead, blank, horrible horror stare, and she's like, what? What happens? You've got to tell me. And he's... Yeah. He doesn't. Nope. And then can't... call off the hack. Call We're off. not doing the hack. Yeah. We're not doing the hack. All right. And then cue the intro and on top of the rooftop. He's lying on the rooftop staring yeah. into the sun. Um, yeah. I think... And Mayuri comes up to visit him. Yeah, Mayuri's trying to convince Carissa to cosplay at the, the con. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's right, yeah. Still. And then she comes up to visit him because... She was like, oh, where, where is he? Uh, and then brings up some, a bottle of water because it's going to get super hot. And gives her, gives him her hat. Yeah, it's it's very sweet because she's walking away and then throws the hat at him. Mm-hmm. So here you go. And then he's like, actually, I will go to this comic market thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I will I will go. I will um, attend. I will attend. Uh so of course like he's basically now in the in the view that he just has to be smart enough to think of a way where he can save both of them. Again. <laughs> but I think there's a, there's an element of this to me that screams of he he wants to spend time with uh Mary. Yeah. Now, like, because he's not sure. Like, I don't know. It almost feels a little bit like he's not sure how this is going to go. Yeah. Well, to the degree, there is a bit in there where he goes, ah, due to my calculation, she'll be dying tonight. Oh, I mean, oh, no, I, I don't mean that. I mean, like, which decision he's going to make. I think, like, he he's fooling mm. himself into believing that he can he can be smart enough to find a way around it. Yeah. Uh, when he knows, he knows that there's not 
a way around it. The only way to, to get around it is to jump into the timeline, uh, jump between timelines. Yeah. Uh, and of course, that means it's an A or B choice, really. Yeah. Um, yeah, so he's, uh, he's spending time at the, the con. She's wandering around doing her thing, and he's just kind of standing on top of a thing, overseeing the whole thing. Uh, she yep. and she has conversations about. Oh yeah, you want to do something? There's this thing here that you might be interested in. No, no, it's cool. I'm preoccupied. Oh, do you want to go back? We can go back. It's like no, no, I don't mean like that. I just mean by the agents of of CERN and all the yep. all the other shit that I talk about. <laughs> uh, the 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 corporation or whatever they're called. Yeah. <clears throat> their watchful eye i need to i need to have my viewpoint up here my vantage to make sure that everything's okay yeah uh, you know organization that's the it. organization that's it the organization Fuck. they um yeah so he he does that and then they kind of start walking the con ends and they start walking home and uh yeah and they're uh. talking about stuff like, Miri's pretty much kind of sad in the fact that she thinks that she's not been good enough for him. Yes. She feels like she's she's getting in his way. Yeah. Um, And doesn't, and she, like, there's a bit of lamenting of them not having the relationship they used to have as well. Like, that's a continuing theme throughout the, throughout these, these episodes. Um, yeah. And then we hear the the fated line of <laughs> what? Uh, oh, oh no! Wait, are we at that bit yet? Yeah, I, I... yeah, we are kind of there, but there's a car appears in the alleyway. They're they're walking along with the lights oh, on. Oh yeah, I, I and... couldn't I couldn't remember if you heard that first or if you heard her say her usual. <laughs> well, this car's kind of driving down and charging at them, and then she goes, "Oh, my my stopwatch is stopped walking. It's broken." I just wonder. Don't tell me you're broken. Yeah. I just fixed this. I just did this. I just wonder. And you're like, oh no. I mean, like, shit's about to go down. You, there's a car coming towards you, and you're looking at your stop watch, or your yeah. your pocket watch. Your pocket watch. So Okabe grabs her, and they run, and he kind of squirrels her away in an alley, in a, a kind of side alley. Yeah. And he's like, "Don't come out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix this." And uh, his fix is like, I'm gonna fucking smash myself into this car. <laughs> yeah, you know he's already deranged. Uh, so, and as he kind of leaps into it, she jumps out from the alleyway and sees him. I, 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 I yeah, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, so. Uh, and then she, she, well, in this instance, she lives long enough to die in his arms. Yeah, and he carries her back to the lab. But she says something. I can't remember what she says, and I only watched it like an article. No. I, the thing that gets me about that is the fact that he, like, she's she's dead. She dies there. It's, I, I, he tells her, uh, it's, you know, don't, what is it? Don't close your eyes. Uh, you can't see the, any, you can't see the stars from there. Like it's kind of a, it's really sort of sad. Uh, it's it's one of the only times I think you see um, Okabe be um, kind of uh, uh, non matter of fact. Like yeah. he's kind of playing into that 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 thing that you know that this is sort of the their their uh, relationship, their colloquial uh, their colloquialisms and their sort of language and he understands that that you know she loves to look at the stars she likes to look at nights it's like yeah and any rather than just you know telling her to don't go to sleep you it, it'll be bad for, like you're you're going you're gonna if you go to sleep you're not gonna wake up so on and so forth it's just it's like no don't go to sleep you won't see the stars from there yeah it's uh, uh it's sad it is uh and uh it's also, I think it refers back to the time then he starts the whole, oh, you're my hostage thing, when she's yes. standing at the graveyard. Yep, that's right. Like uh, I say, it's sort of that, that, um, she holds that building up. of that. Yes. Hand up. And that, uh, 
serial experiments lane way where people look at the sky and stuff like that to make sure that everything's real. Yeah, so uh, it's through their, at, their fingers. But um, yeah, so he he carries her body uh, back to the the lab mm-hmm. and lays her down on the couch, yep. um, and then goes back. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't. Is it? I think it is this one where he he's obviously really shaken and upset. Yeah, yeah, because when uh... he. Yeah, he's got his hands in I think, his head. Heads in his yeah, hands. Uh, like, yeah, because he, uh, he calls off the hack, as he did before, mm-hmm. and then he goes he goes up to the roof, and, and then instead, this time, it's not Miyuri that comes up to see him. It's Kurusu who comes up to to see him. And, you know, um, he she mentions, she's like, you need to tell me what's going on, because, like, you were, you were crying. Yeah. Like it's obviously <laughs> it's obvious that this is not good. Something's <laughs> happened. Yeah. Uh, um and then uh he gets up and he's literally about to throw his phone smash his phone up to stop the whole experiment. Yeah. And she stops him. And then he kinda of have like this weird embrace. Yeah. And then I think he comes clean. He does, yeah, he then explains to her that the first time he saw her was as a corpse essentially <laughs> well the first thing he saw was the light version oh, that's a, true. a lab but yeah yeah that's true she basically yeah, yeah. It says that you're dead yeah and that the first message he sent was about that to Daru whose phone of course was on and switched into the the machine mm-hmm and yeah, here we are. That's the first time the reading Steiner kicked in and the timeline shifted. Yeah. Um, I think this is the... Because then I'm pretty sure Mayuri phones him. Yes. Because she's worried about him. Yeah, Mayuri but, phones him because you know, Daru said that he was all... Daru said, Daru said you were, he was really wor- like he was crying and upset and she's like, yeah. Yeah, and... Um... Even Chris has mentioned that Daru was freaked out by the fact that he was crying. That's but, right. Yeah. Uh, he wasn't going to answer the phone, though. Chris was like, Are "You going to answer that?" <laughs> yeah, I like. I I suppose it's you don't want to add like too much, um, too much uh, weight on any decision or anything like that because I I don't think there's anything in that. I think that's just it's all a little much right now. <laughs> it's just become way way worse every yeah. single time you know well so. yeah i mean um yeah so i mean uh chris uh essentially convinces him to go to the comic con to find mayuri but she's already yep. left and, yep she's gone already yeah um and he uh of course knows where she'll be because he knows her well, um, yeah. and it's where they are. Uh, the first time they sort of had that, where the, where the organization <laughs> became a thing, and they they began sort of their their friendship or whatever it is they have. Yeah, um, she's at the the grave. She's our, grand- our grandmother's grave. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and she's reciting the the weird dreams that she's been having, which is apparently like every death that she's experienced. That is uh, heartbreaking. That is because that just must be <laughs> so horrible. Because <laughs> I, I think it's like we get sort of in, uh, glimpses of that, um, you know, from before when we change the timeline for uh, Ferris and, and Ruka. Because obviously, like when he told Ferris about all the things that she was, she was like, "Oh, I think I kind of know that." And the yeah. same with Ruka. I was like, "Oh, you used to, you used to be a, a guy," and they're like, "Oh." I think I do know that. Like, yeah. deep down, I think I do know that that's the case. Yeah, but I don't know. He's not actually mentioned anything to Mayuri, though. And well, no, that's the curious thing. It. It... And then she's, she's... You have to wonder. And I'm sure she's mentioned it kind of like offhand before in some other episodes. 
he was definitely at the start <laughs> for where he was just doing the, the normal time leaps and not breaking things. Or, yeah. Or, and, and repairing things. Um, he had like dreams where he ends up like in a an hourglass, as it were, an egg timer type. Yeah. Wasteland. Yep. With her as a shadow, right. saying, "This is the real me," but this is like the start of the world or something. Yeah, so. I I think like there's definitely obviously the precedence is there for people to know about the other timelines or things that are happening. Mm -hmm. Um, but the whatever the catalyst is in this circumstance for her is not. I I not clear. Well, I think she's kind of a similar. A reading Steiner? A kind of similar reading Steiner, but she just doesn't know about it as much as he does, and it's not as vivid. Because, I don't know, maybe it's down to being child's friends. I'm sure there was a point where they end up talking about him. Maybe that's like the next couple of episodes. Don't really want to talk about it until we've done the season. She, uh... <clears throat> she obviously is, you know, rattling off all this information about um, the dreams she's been having her gran, and then she starts talking about Okabe and she's worried about him and how much he's she can see how much he's suffering and how hard things have been for him and she's just not sure how to help him yeah um yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's harsh it's really hard and then he's kind of he's kind of there listening in the background he's kind of like Vin Diesel <laughs> watching uh Watching the dude, who's the other dude? Who's the guy? Paul Walker. Paul Walker at the watching the funeral. Yep, he's kind of hanging at the back. Oh yeah, twice at the <clears> back. <throat> Got the the funeral. Paul Walker watching the funeral from the distance, and then Vin Diesel watching the watching Paul Walker watching the funeral from the distance. Ah, uh, those movies are not real. Jesus. They're they're very they... tongue in cheek. There is not real as real gets, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, she uh, he interrupts her and says, you know, like, ah, but not to worry. You know, it's all good. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah you're still my hostage, don't you forget. Uh, yep. And then I think she say, like, you know, I can leave any time I want, type thing. That's like, yeah. And he goes, no, you can't. Ha ha ha! I will find you wherever you are. Type thing. Yeah. Um. It's uh. Yeah, it's it's just that sort of uh. It feels a little bit like. She was always willing to go along with that, and he's he was absolutely you know willing to go along with that because, she felt better for buying into it, and he always felt she felt better for him doing it. Like, yeah. So that's the whole sort of thing. <clears throat> and now it feels like he's having to try really hard to to make it mean something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh so. anyway, um I can't remember is so it kinda of end at that point where they go, Alright, and then start walking back. Yeah, they they start walking back and then it <clears throat> the next bit there's one last bit which is Kurusu, she goes to the scene where she dies. Yeah, in the the other world line. That's right. She's in the 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 building that's cornered off. Uh, um. And yeah, and she she finds the place. Yeah, she doesn't know. But again, this is the kind of thing is is that as we've said like people who know about the other things that happen to them in other timelines because they've had a conversation about it with okabe uh it seems like that has that has rung true yet again because she's somehow been able to identify where she was killed well it says which room i think when he actually tells her yeah uh does he say that he said some i thought they made a big deal about that i think he says it's maybe i'm wrong um and then I think she goes up there, and I think it kind of shows like, well, I wouldn't call them flashbacks. Maybe they are flashbacks because this is actually still in the future of that time. Yeah, because everything else is kind of past because the time machine is not there, but the big hole is there. 
That's true, yeah. Uh, and it's the con time, so yeah, that'd be in the future. Um, so she kind of has the flashbacks of the thing that happened in the other timeline. At that mm-hmm. point, I think. And then I think that's ends yes. there. Yeah, it does. That's, yeah. The, that's the end of this episode. Um, what's your thoughts on that? It's aggressive, man. Give you all the feels, man. It's like Mary hurting. Uh, he's hurting for Mary, and you're like, oh, is that like kind of like a weird lovers quarrel thing? Because she and because when she's talking to the grandma, she's also saying like, oh, I went beforehand when it was just us in the lab. You know, I got there before he actually got to the place, and it was and tidied yeah, up. He's right. good, and then we kind of sat there for two hours and not said much. But it wasn't uncomfortable. Yeah, they, they, how they used to sit in silence, and it was nice. Yeah. Which is... Yeah, I don't know. I, d- I don't know if what they have is romantic or not. Uh, I, and I, I and from whose angle, <laughs> I don't know whether it's romantic or not either. It just... It's... I d- codependence seems such a terrible thing to say, but they seem to need each other. Yeah. more than i think they would care that certainly more than he'd care to admit i think i think he feels like he is there for mayuri because she needs him to be there for her but i don't think he realizes quite how much i think or or rather i think he's starting to realize <laughs> quite how much he does need her not just because they're friends not just because they have history but because they sort of have a balance yeah like whatever whatever that relationship is they they sort of have that um that balance for each other so it's yeah it's interesting yeah it certainly shows you that there's a deep relationship there whether it is you know romantic or not it's certainly there the fact that yeah you know it's not many times you can sit in a, a room of silence and just accept it and not be awkward and comfortable with people it shows, it shows you a, a kind of deeper relationship uh, yeah and yeah it's it's good I liked it I, I think it's um a nice nine kind of showing the dynamics slows things down a bit to fill out this bit the the reasons for his hesitation of, yeah. of jumping back straight in, which is good. Yeah, I think a nine's a nine's fair. Like we're yeah. starting to see, as you said, that that complicated choice. Yeah, the the weird love triangle thing. Yeah. <clears throat> so next up is episode twenty two. Uh, what's what have you got for this one? Uh. Being meltdown. Yep. Yep. We're all good. We're all, we're all good. good. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna get right to the end of this now. It's yeah. gonna be great. All the same. Yep. So I can't remember how this one starts actually. Uh kind of starts talking about Basically, before the 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 star sequence, I think it basically reiterates that he's told Carissa essentially that she dies, yes. and then it goes into yes, the that's intro, right. and then she's yeah. lying on top of a roof herself. That's right. And then he finds yeah. her, but it's not the roof of the lab; it's the, the roof of the the radio building. The radio building. The, the where where the, where the thing crashed. Yeah, because there's a big crater in the building. Yeah. Where, where she's de- died and he ca- finds her up there and uh, I can't remember what the conversation up there was like, ah. I think, did she, I'm sure sure she talked I, I thought I thought there was a little bit of uh, her saying she visited where she was she died and he and she mentions exactly where it happens and he's surprised at that uh, because he's like, he's like oh because then she talks. Does she not go on to talk about how she starts remembering her stabbing from her dreams, and uh, she also remembers she's starting to remember all the different attempts to save Mayuri. Yeah, like it's all kind of becoming one. Yeah, I mean that's 
goes on to that. But I think it's basically she's lying there and says, Ah, oh, I found you. And he's like, All right, cool. Uh, and then he mutters something, and then he goes, Oh, it's, it's starting to rain, you know. And then uh, it comes down a right. big downpour, oh, and they got salt, and he gets to see no, the grass. And then she uh, basically slaps yeah. him. She calls, calls, him a, calls him a pervert. Yeah, uh, and he denies that. Oh, because his uh, his his lab coat gets ripped. Yeah, and his that that's kind of the journey to look at it. Um, but yeah, no, I think before he gets called power, they start having that conversation where she remembers. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and then <clears throat> they sit on the stairwell to dry out a bit. His lab coat's ripped. Uh, she's kind of wringing yeah. out her jacket. He turns around and then kind of notices that her shirt is wet. It's see-through, of course. And then, but he doesn't take his eyes off him. He stopped taking his eyes off him when she calls him up. No. And then he says, <laughs> it's not my fault. Yeah, it, I mean, and then, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. And then uh, he told me... Um, I don't know, they have like some wee random tiff and she's like, I'm going to slap you. Mm-hmm. So hard that you're not going to be able to think properly for ever. It's going to give you some proper brain damage. Because <laughs> he, oh god, I can't remember what, it was, what the statement was, but yeah, she basically says, "I'm going to give you some proper brain damage." He continue that sentence. Yeah, and then uh, he does have a tendency to put his foot in it. So yeah, uh, so anyway, he sits down and then. She starts sewing because she's got a sewing kit on her. Yep. She can't, I don't know where she Bring keeps it. Bring it all it. back to our earlier conversation. Valid point. In one of her many tiny pockets, maybe. I don't know. There's no uh, pockets in women's clothing. We know this. No. I, 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 my, my wife does make such a big deal of it when a dress has pockets. So I understand that's a common thing. Look, so uh, and I'm, people to be like, oh my God, this dress has pockets. It's like, oh yeah, wow. It's like. Oh, I was. That brings me back to uh, some YouTube short, probably a TikTok guy, and he, he basically does like a kind of like a spoof of like um, evil fashion corporations and how we're going to make women pay with the uh, with all these fashion designs. Essentially, like taking away their pockets, don't have pockets on them, and like different bra bra sizes that make no sense. Uh, and other things. It's, it's kind of hilarious. It's just obviously written. They're, they're, all, they're all true. <laughs> I know. That's the worst thing. It's, it's like, sire, you, oh know, my God. you know how I got another devious plan. Uh, it's like, <laughs> I need to find that. It's, it's just, oh, please. It's, it's ridiculous, but it's quite funny. Anyway, um, so yeah, so she's so an elf and it's like, it's pitch black and I got three yep. colours and it's black, red or pink. <laughs> and I can't <laughs> tell which one I'm using. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think she has a conversation. Is it... At this point, she says, like, basically I know that you're doing everything to save Miyuri. Yeah. So I need to be sacrificed, essentially. Well, yeah, I think she gives it, she starts at the lab coat and then they, I think, I think what happened, I'm trying to remember, I think what happens is, is that he, he's obviously going to need to go back in time again. Yeah. To, to, to reset the clock. Because she, uh, she goes and states that she's done all the mathematical equations and there's no, no way around if she had two days to do it or something. And there's no way around yeah. for her to... <clears throat> for not to to go back in time to save it and he knows she knows how much Muri he cares for Muri and yeah and how, how much it is killing him inside to see her die over and over and over and over <laughs> yeah yeah and uh it's like I keep hearing you scream Muri all this time as well because she somehow somehow has that recollection too yeah, maybe that's like when the first happened because we're all in the lab. Oh, that's true, actually. Yeah, 
That might be when when she's getting those flashbacks. She never really states how what time, but she just knows that she's had the the sense of him going. Hey, hey. Uh, yeah. So I don't know, and then she kind of like plays off like, ah, oh, no one's like ever thought of that about me, type like thing. Yeah. And he's like, what? Don't you understand? <laughs> I do, type thing. No. Yeah, it's it, we're about to get to sort of the inevitable part, which is <laughs> that's kind of been danced about for the last, you know, twenty episodes. <laughs> yeah. Where it's like, oh yeah, uh, the, 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 these two like each other, even though they hate each other. Oh. Um, oh. And. Uh, she she basically says yeah like you're saying is that there's no way around this mm-hmm. and i she thinks she's second fiddle fi- to to Miyui. yeah but but on top of that i think there's a you know like there's a there's an unconscious thing there of like just it's what feels right to her yeah um which well and, because, because I suppose that's the thing is, is you know, if she makes the choice, she'll never know. And and she makes the argument that, you know, who's to say that you know the, the me that's here doesn't stay here, and that you know this goes on. It's like there is a me that is here, mm-hmm. somewhere, yeah, but just not there. And we'll so know. you're not like you're not condemning me. You're just putting things back in an order. Yeah, you'll remember the stuff there. Um... But that, that happens after he kind of like goes, no, I can't be doing that. And then yep. runs away from her to the lab and gets the, yep. the phone wave on his head to transmit his phone call back to go and live. She through catches up with him real quick. Oh, real yeah. Quick. She seems more athletic than him. <laughs> well, that was, it reminded me of uh, uh, Emperor's New Groove where the good guys arrive and <laughs> then the bad guys are already there. It's like, wait, you fell off the cliff. How did you get here before us? It's like, and they look at Kronk, who's the idiot. He kind of pulls down a chart and he goes, yeah, I don't know. By all accounts, that uh, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's, she's like, she must have been running like bumper to bumper with him the entire way in order for her to get that close to him at that point. Or maybe she knows a shortcut. Ah, uh, maybe. I just, <laughs> it's literally like, what, did you guys run into the room at the same time? Oh, oh well, no, no, he, he also had a bit more time in the head because he has to prepare the thing. Cause he's yeah, literally just a, bit of, press, a bit of preparation. Literally just about to press air to do the, the time leap back. Yeah, and she's like, nope. <laughs> Gra- grab her. Don't do that. Grab his hand. Um, Don't do that shit. And then they have a big conversation, it's like, and he's like, I can't. I'll I'll, I'll sacrifice Muriel, uh, my area over you. And uh, and then she gives him a big slap, saying, "What are you saying?" He's like, "You don't care for her anymore." How many times have you watched her die? He was like, like a dozen. Yeah, I, I I'm going to guess that's the safe number. <laughs> that's the safe number, dozen. Uh, and then. So you're essentially dead to the fact that she's dying now, type thing. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and he is. Like, I, it, like as terrible as it is, and as much as it is continuing to destroy him because he doesn't want to see it, the idea of it is just, it's as much as it's unpleasant, it's lost all meaning. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean anything anymore, other than she's not there. The actual act of it is just a... Like the, her dying is the bit he cares about. Her being dead is the bit he, care, she, he cares about. But before it was about that, you know, that it would be difficult to see her die, and now it's just not anymore. Yeah, he's it's perfunctory. Yeah, just uh, he's just numb, numb himself to the fact. But you'll yeah make sure get the time frame and that and stuff and uh yeah anyway. So basically, it creates a horrible thought. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> Basically, he's, he's uh, watched it so many times that it's now just part of his life cycle. Though I don't know why he continues yeah. to jump back 
in the pretense. Well, it, well he, he, because that's what I say, is it's not, before it was about the horrific part of stopping her dying. Mm-hmm. Now it's about the, that it's that point in time he's trying to change. Yeah. But at a certain point, it stopped becoming about changing that point in time and more about changing the future so that she was there. It became less about the act of her dying and more about her presence in the future. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That makes more sense. So it just becomes very fun. It just very functional of like, well, if I don't do this, she's not here. So I need to go back and do that. Whereas before, when it started, it was like, I need to stop her from dying. That's horrible. I can't let that happen again. <laughs> and then that stop that stops <laughs> becoming the thing that's difficult to deal with. Yeah. Uh. So then Chris basically says, "Oh, you're already broken. Let's not do this. We'll do the do it the other way." And then they have like the whole love confession, and say, yep. I, "You know, maybe this timeline. Who's to say this timeline is doesn't just disappear when you do it? You'll we'll still have each other here, type thing." Yeah, she. Yeah. And then I think they make out. Well, he he tells her how he feels about her. Which is sort of the kind of the catalyst for her, I think, starting to understand why it's been so difficult for him to make the decision. It's it's mm-hmm. it's been plaguing on him so much because I think to her, she felt like it should be easy. Yeah, because did... not not easy, but obvious, I guess. Didn't yeah, didn't really see. She never really noticed. The way, the way he feels for her type thing because he's always no, been she... an arrogant bastard to be honest <laughs> a prickly arsehole yeah. for most of the time yeah um but yeah she uh she tells him to close his eyes mm. and kisses him and then it's the i'm trying to think it's like something like uh we'd better just keep doing that because you know uh if if there are other versions of us we want to make sure that we remember that you know, because that's the mm. idea is to try and create the memory so that it it, it withstands the timelines. Oh. Uh, it well, in theory, it's his and, first uh, kiss. He's like, you know, well, yeah, yes, it's her first kiss. Uh, and he's like, well, I didn't say it was my first kiss. And she's like, oh fuck you. <laughs> yeah, very much. He's a complete <laughs> dick. Um, and then, yeah. and then he uh, basically goes in for it again, and then she starts thinking about angst. Einstein's theory of relativity about time is it can be observed from different perspectives, from your own perspective. Yeah. And how that's sexy, I don't know. I and the bit I remember is the fact that that they have that they have that conversation about it. it's like we need to make sure we remember this, and he's like, "Yep, yeah, that seems like science." What were we doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's how all these things start, isn't it? Yeah, for science. The science seems sound. Yeah, yeah, for science, um, and yeah, I, I think like you know, that's the the, the day after that, um, Kurosu is then preparing to return to America in the in the timeline, mm-hmm. um, and you know, Okabe and and uh, Daru and uh, are going to make sure that things do return to the original timeline oh. uh, or about are about to they have the conversation where she's about to go mm-hmm. and uh he uh <clears throat> i can't remember she th- oh yeah that's right i she gets him a present a leaving present which is a bottle of i'm going to call it dr pepper yeah uh, his favorite juice that she yeah fucking lobs way far away from him she's uh-huh. like oh, go and get it uh, and he he makes a and, comment of you throw like a girl and then goes and picks yep. it up and then she does a batman she literally yep. just disappears like in the middle of the square she mouths she mouths uh something to him which i had to look up because there were no subtitles uh which was apparently just i love you it's essentially yeah. what she says yeah, so. yeah. She, she mouths, I, love I understood what she said Oh, I I knew that. I wanted to make sure I definitely was I, that definitely was it. I've been burned before, where it's like, oh, that seems obvious. Oh, that's not what happened. <laughs> yeah. uh, they could have they could have put a subtitle in that. You know. <laughs> um, yeah, 
and then he turns around and she's gone. And I mean, yep. that's just, that's literally, she honestly grabbed, has a bat, bat rang in her, one of her many <laughs> pockets. And it's like, whoop! Now she's, uh, <laughs> what you don't see is her <laughs> hanging from a train car with a dislocated arm, <laughs> screaming because she's just whipped herself away from the situation. Oh, no, that's, that's, a uh, that's Attack on Titan. Oh, oh God, that show. <laughs> Oh, just I've like PS- breaking I've your, got- your spine with like the 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 belts. I've got fucking PTSD from that show, man. It's rough. <laughs> it's real rough. Yeah, I'm not. Surprised. Uh, I thought I thought the first the first season they just kind of didn't care about the characters and just in like in a surprising way, a good way, a good writing way where no one's really safe <laughs> because just bad things happen to everyone at any given point. <laughs> that never stops happening never it's so tense all the time <laughs> does someone die at least once every episode i i would suggest there's probably at least a death an episode <laughs> jesus uh anyway um so she's she's also whipped away onto the train to avoid the yep. you know ticket fare i don't know <laughs> and, and the situation in general she's yeah. she's uh she, as we said like i think it's uh easier for for both of them to remove themselves from the situation because she knows she doesn't want to be there to tell him to stop mm-hmm. or to stop him and he knows that she he doesn't want her to be there because he knows that's going to make it more difficult to do what he thinks he has to do yeah um and as i mentioned earlier yeah he gets you know they go back to doing the hack like daru <laughs> gets the everything set up and and they delete the original the original emails from the cern network mm-hmm. Uh, and Hulk makes a speech before he does it, and then yeah, hits the enter button, and then Chris just kind of appears to the door as it's happening. You got like this cool kind of like flickering, distorted scene happening, and uh, she's like, "Oh, I love you" type thing. I think is what she's stating at that point, or don't do it. Yeah. No, I, I don't think she's say I don't think she's saying don't do it. Yeah. I don't I I don't think so anyway. I think it is literally just I think uh, so my way of reading it was she we see her mouthing that she loves him yep. to his back. Yep. Uh so that she could at least for her own sake feel like she had said it. Yeah. And then got away from the situation. Yep. But I think this is an act where it's like this is creating that memory that transcends the timelines for me like that's what this that's what that was is like her making sure that he knew that to hear her say it yeah i think so he, he i don't know if he hears it though because you don't really hear anything he's no. kind of going through the, the time loop <laughs> backwards Did yeah it? he's difficult to hear anything and but... then yeah so and then at that point it's after all that and he finds himself kind of staring at a notice board <laughs> yep and then uh, Mayuri is there with Daru and she goes Mayuri who's lab member 004 well that's a trick question we don't have one <laughs> there's not one he's like Ugh. and he's like ha ha and then he psyched himself up and came um, the mad scientist and go, ha ha ha! My plans have foiled CERN and the organization. Blah 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 blah. And then Mario's like, you yeah. know, you don't need to keep doing that voice anymore. <laughs> I, I didn't know how to take that. I'll be honest. I think I I what I wasn't sure. If she also states that. That's me. That's me sorted now. Type thing. I'll be yeah. here. You don't need to worry about me anymore. I, yeah, it, it's... It feels like... It, I, I think you're right. I think it feels like like with with hearing that, it's almost like she, she knows exactly everything he's been through to get to this point. Yeah. And her saying that is like, there's no more you need to do for me. 
I don't need you to do that. If that's difficult for you, you don't need to. If you want to, you can still do that. But yeah. if that's for me, you can stop that. Yeah, I think so. I think she's like... Yeah. Ah, oh, it's, it's, it's cool, okay? It's, you're okay now. I'm here. I'm going to be here. And it does point to point one point one something. On the scale. So the break the one percent. Yeah, they've 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 broken the barrier, so And then it kinda ends at that point. <clears throat> or does it? Uh, it certainly breaks the credit. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see it? Yes. The phone call. Yeah. <laughs> phone to the phone call to Dar, so it's kind of going to run through the credits, and it's not like the normal end music in the credits either at this no. point. Uh, it's kind of that music kind of reminds me of Rama One Half. I don't know why. It's it feels like a Rama One Half music. Um, and then you hear a ringing, the or the buzzing because they don't have rings. They just all vibrate. Bzz, bzz. Yep. And then Daru picks up and goes, Hello? You're my what now? What? Oh, uh, Okabe, yeah, he's here. <laughs> Some pretty sticks on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're my what now is a pretty, <laughs> pretty, pretty great joke. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But... And I like that it doesn't phase him as much as that probably should. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't seem overly worried about what he's just heard. Yeah, he does say it was some crazy chick on the phone. Passes yeah. to Okabe. He's like, oh yeah. Yeah, he's here. Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk to him? Yeah, great. And then she basically goes, oh, I'm Suzuha, uh from the year 2000 something something. And, uh, 2032, I think, is the year. Yeah. Uh, and on top of the, the <laughs> building and um, you got to come meet me. It's like, well, I thought we sorted all this out. Oh, yeah, but World War Three is about to ca- crack off. Or World War Three is going to happen, and you need to stop yep. it. I need you to help me stop it. Yeah. It's 2036, actually. Sorry. Yeah, 2036. And, uh, yeah. So, he's like, why? Not more shit. I got oh, <laughs> to deal shit. Just... Just when I think I think I'm out, they pull me back in. Yeah, it's deleted. It. They got rid of their phone wave and the IBM fifty one hundred is on the back 5, of fifty one hundred Mister Brown's truck, getting taken away somewhere. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's and that's that's the end. Crazy. Yeah. How do you rate it? Um, kind of continuation of the second one, obviously because. Episode 21 is all about Mayuri. Episode 22 is all about Carissa because those are two. Yep. Two choices. Two choices. Two interests for Okabe. Uh, one being more um, romantic and one's been more, I don't know, platonic? Yeah. Like, because she's like a sister to him, really. Yeah, I, I, and I, I do think that she is. I think that is I think that is it is he was her protector. Yeah. Like her the the person that would look out for her. Yeah. Uh, and nothing more really. Yeah. Um and that's uh Yeah, so it's it's good. Um it kind of puts like you know, it ends like the the question of it, of the Teresa Okabe thing, like it's all these ob- obvious feelings between them. Cer- certain the last what six episodes, six seven episodes, yep. ten episodes. I it's it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's it's pretty nail on that and progress things. And there's some nice stylistic things because you know before he did the time leaks before. No one really ever like start talking to him, and you didn't really get on the sense of he's focusing on something happening in the time when it's when he's doing the jump. So you got to kind of see that. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to go. I think it's a stain and a nine for me, man. Yep, 
I agree. I think my my moment of the two episodes is the phone call from Mayuri in episode twenty one. Uh, the one at the saying, "Are you all right?" Rooftop. Yeah. Yeah. That's like that is the the realest moment in all of that is. I think it's the first. I think it's probably the first time that anyone has sort of approached him with other than Chris who really understands what's going on you mm. know like uh the only time anyone else has been like are you all right yeah. I don't think you're all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah I sure she's she's done that a few times and... she, she's definitely more cognizant of something being different but I think it's 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 the culmination of like everyone starting to notice it yeah like, you know daru being worried about him and everything and it's just like no something's not good with you <laughs> you shouldn't like come off of a phone call and have your head in your hands and be crying for no reason <laughs> yeah and then immediately change your plans <laughs> well it, it's, it's, it's happened before he was like when he was first going back on his own doing it all and chris is like yeah yo you just timely haven't you how do you know? Yeah. Oh, it's that um, that look in your eyes kind of thing. Yep. The horror. The horror look the in horror. your eyes of like, shit's just went down somewhere. Um, Mary has mentioned it before. Uh, Mary has yeah. mentioned it before in the sense that she's like, oh, I feel like we're getting distant. The distance yes. is, is drawn between us. Yep. And, and, and she can't feels like can't read him anymore. Yeah, uh, and she has stated in the past where also saying, like, you shouldn't do the timely pain anymore. I don't want to lose you anymore and what you are. I think it was the last That's one. That's true. Yeah. The very last one. I, uh, I've i enjoyed this show so far. I'm very curious to see how it wraps up. I'm very curious to find out if we find out who kills Kurusu. Yes. I mean, I... I... I Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm not saying I know, and I'm not gonna say, but I have I have some theories. You got theories, man. Let, let's hear your theories, man. Yeah. Uh, I I have concerns. <laughs> <laughs> I have concerns that uh, the stopping World War Three thing might have something to do with Kurus's death, <laughs> because I remember when Suzaha was around that she didn't like Kurusu because she was on the side of CERN mm. in the future. Yeah. In... Um, that is true. So I, I worry that there's a very <laughs> difficult personal choice that people are going to have to make at a certain point. Maybe that's not so great. Maybe. Maybe. That might be a bit extreme, but that's my, my current thinking. Um, but on, on that note we will be back to talk about the final two episodes of the seasons uh, next week episodes 23 and 24 uh, we'll be back the week after that to talk about the OVA which is the kind of episode 25 yeah yeah. to uh, to Steins Gate mm -hmm. uh, and then I think we I don't know if we said this in the previous episode or not but I think what we're going to do is probably just roll right through into Steins Gate Zero and see how this baby keeps going um, that makes sense yeah so I, it's I, going to be a long road. This is the longest season, Colin. The longest? Oh yeah, I suppose everything's been because the the only other one we've done two seasons of is uh, her Harry, Harry, and that was sixteen episodes. Uh, yeah, we did on that because yeah, because it was two two seasons, but only twelve episodes each or something. Uh, uh, and the oh, movie, uh, and we did two. We did two episodes for the movie. <laughs> To cut the movie in half. Yeah, uh, well, there's like another se another season on its own. So it's three hours or oh, something. It's, it's it is. It's two hours and forty three minutes, and it's so good. <laughs> I uh, have very genuinely considered buying a multi region Blu ray player so I can buy the special edition of that movie. I mean, that makes sense. It's it's incredible. I'm really gutted that there's no uh, region A release, a uh, region B release of that rather. It's really annoying. Seems a bit weird. Thought they would have. Yeah, I think Australia, I think, who are Region B, uh, 
had a release of it, but it's a compl- it was like a minor release and it was completely sold out, so it's not in print anymore. Oh. Um, I, d- I did a bunch of trolling on some Blu-ray forums to find <laughs> out what the fuck was going on. Because um, it's regularly print, it's regular uh, regular print in the US and in Japan. Yeah. So, but unfortunately, neither of those are useful regions to me. No. <laughs> um, uh, so we will be back to talk about 23 and 24 wrap up the end of the season take a look at the ova for another episode that'll be a bit of a quicker episode but then we'll be dive straight in with steins gate zero yeah um, i've not watched that one which nope so we'll be on an even playing field colin yes um so i think that leaves us this is the end of the episode mm-hmm. um who's that anime is an anime podcast um and you can find us at our home at anchor.fm forward slash who's that anime uh we can be found anywhere where podcasts can be found pretty much now uh or anywhere we can use an rss feed and i did mention to you today i did add uh we are now searchable on audible and stitcher as well that's kind of a surprise to me yeah so if you have friends or family who are into anime podcasts and maybe we're like oh, if only they were on audible or if only they were on stitcher well we are now so nothing stopping you yeah um, those are platforms too those are platforms too but we're also on the traditional ones you know spotify google podcast apple Podcasts, pocket cast overcast all that fun stuff and like i say anywhere where an rss feed can be downloaded um we don't make any money on these so of course if you want to tell people what we do because you like what we do that would be amazing Mm -hmm. please feel free to uh to uh you know let people know that this is what we do uh if you want to leave us a review five stars is absolutely welcome and anything less than five stars we would love to get some constructive criticism and find out ways that we can you know make change for the better Mm -hmm. uh we have a facebook page that's facebook.com forward slash who's that anime we post occasional anime memes and typically when the new episodes are going live um we now have a discord that's available for people if they do want to jump in and chat i'll link that in the the show description um it's nothing really much popping off in there at the moment so much, but there's some nice areas to be able to talk about the different kind of shows that we're watching outside of the ones we do for the podcast, which for me now are more yeah. than they were before, which is kind of nice. Um, well, yeah, watch. the more I get into Chainsaw Man, I'm going to need to gonna need people to talk to about that eventually. So. Oh, yeah. I was... Um, um, what was I mean? Uh, I watched Bubble. Bubble? Bubble. It's on uh, Netflix... Uh, maybe. Oh, yes. I think I've got that on my watch list. It's kind of cool and interesting. Uh, it's kind of like a Little Mermaid kind of story, and they even mentioned the Little Mermaid in it too. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Um, and I finished off watching Shaman King. It only took me twenty years. <laughs> Netflix original Shaman King. Yeah, Netflix original Shaman King. My ass. I watched on Jet yeah. Edge back in 2000. Oh, that is something very quickly, mm. is that they're releasing a, another season of Castlevania, a new season. Oh yeah, I did see that they were going to do something like that. Castlevania Nocturne, apparently. Okay. So. See what that not, not. It's not following Simon Belmont this time. So. Yeah, well, that makes kind of sense. He has... There's games that don't follow him, so... Yeah. Yeah, the showrunner and the writers are different, so I don't know how it's going to go, but oh. we'll see. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. Um, speaking of videos, uh, we also have a YouTube channel. Um, you can find that at youtube.com if you search for the channel Who's That Anime. Colin has very kindly been editing together the video versions of these podcasts and uploading them onto our channel. What one are we at right now? Uh, that's the, the last set of cowboy bebop so best cowboy basically, bebop basically all the all up to the end of cowboy bebop movie and, and all next nice. next one to go live awesome. which is next week will be uh your name your name yeah <gasps> that's us in person yeah we're sitting side by side i i, I made it up i've got a frame in there so weird yeah, kind of like uh, Smith and Jones. You remember Smith and Jones? Yes. They did, <laughs> they did those weird segments where they sat across from a table like that and talked about <laughs> random shit. Not anime, but they were just talking about uh, random shit. <laughs> we definitely talked about random shit, that's for sure. Um. So yeah, I think that is us. 
Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh... Oh, I suppose I should. I sh- I forgot to mention our gaming channels, which uh, I won't. I won't provide the airtime to. But if you like to watch video games being played live, Colin has a Twitch. I have a Twitch. There's YouTube archives of both of those. They're in the show notes. If you want to see those, mm-hmm. they are there. Uh, I'm not playing anything currently, but maybe in the future. Not live, I mean, no. Diablo no, Immortal. That's for sure. Horn ourselves out in that. Oh show. yeah, yeah. I I made my first payment today. The fuck? Why? Because <clears throat> it was eight nine p, and I got some got some oh, quick stuff. So no. It's don't... like a bottle of cola. Like that's the thing. Like, this is the bit. <laughs> I, this is the bit I don't get with people. It's like, oh, it's so predatory. It's like, no, like I could just not do it, but I did it because at the same time I could be in a shop and go, chocolate bar, and it's the same. Nope. It's the same damn thing. Nope. And actually, that's technically better for me. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Nope. I've never played. Like, I got clothes. Games. Clothes with uh, clothes with cool shit attached to it now. Well, if you get a number of hours out of enjoyment out of something, I think as a person who works in the games industry, I think it would only be fair for you to leave a tip. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I just no, I'm I'm a dick, a wholehearted dick. I don't want to give players uh, of any money. To be honest, always me. Always, and I'm not so super keen on that, but I really do like Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, uh, I always leave a on a free to play game. If I put significant amount of time into it, I always make a payment. To, at the very least, give them something of my my time. So that's fair enough. I can't think of the last free to play game that I actually played longer. I got some puzzle book thing, but I don't really want. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, just, I don't really like the idea of paying them money because it's just like crosswords and shit. Well, but the question then is, is that so you wouldn't be doing that without them? Ah. I would try another app as well, do it on. Oh, but then it'd be another app that's free, right? Because you wouldn't pay for it. No, because I'm stingy bastard. People need to be paid for the work they're doing if you enjoy the work they're doing. They got ads. In Diablo Immortal, they do not. They do not have ads in Diablo Immortal. That's true. But at the same time, and while I don't, I don't, I don't always appreciate certain business practices and things like that because it's difficult. Um, I do think people who make things should be supported, and not everyone. I'm sure that despite there being problematic people in certain businesses, uh, I think that you know they obviously not everyone is like that and should be supported. Uh, I suppose, but um, I don't know. It's it's kind of like the whole Dead Alive 5 thing, or Dead Alive 6, where you can spend, like, a gajillion amount of pounds to, like, get everything, apparently. I think people say oh, but that's the high also level... a paid-for game, right? Yeah, that's a paid-for game, too. Which is... I, ha- I have a... Oh, no, I, wait, I no. Have, like, no, there person... was a free version. Oh, there's a free version? I I have a difference of opinion. If, if a game is paid for, I'm not so keen on transaction stuff um although i i don't mind so much like cosmetics and things like that i don't really care that's fine um and i didn't like i think destiny did that okay because they did like the you know they did cosmetics they did dances and they did uh skins and things but then they also did like hey uh you can boost your character to a certain level so you can take part in additional yeah. like extra content and things like that so yeah what do you get for 89p then uh, I got a bunch of a bunch of coins and a bunch of I think gems to assign to my uh, armor. All right, so you get stock of the gems. Okay. Yeah, so I've got I've got like a three or four different stock of gems now on yeah. my my items. Was uh, I don't know. It's everyone's apparently it's like in the top five worst rated games on Metacritic because of uh, the transactions. Yeah. Like because it's and, like, 100, I get it. Like I get it. grand or something to be top tier. Yeah, I guess it's that thing. Is I suppose it depends on how you want to look at it. If there's is there anything stopping you from playing the game and enjoying it from start to finish? It doesn't seem like there is. Uh, no, not in my place. Where I'm, I got to level forty nine. I haven't paid them a, yeah. a single cent as 
I've already elated on that I was like... Yeah, I've I've put maybe three that. hours or four hours into it already, and like I've never once felt like, other than like, hey, here's the battle pass, which I kind of get, like you know you got to try and do something some for something, but like I've never been a person about maxing out stuff, so it's never been that important to me. Yeah, I I'm kind of the same. Ah, uh, oh, I just wanted to enjoy the game, and <laughs> oh so. yeah, I'm always always game to try something. Diablo was always kind of cool, and since it was free, it was like, like yeah, okay. But then Blizzard's kind of like had questionable mo motives in their company in recent times. I think things have been not great. No, it seem at least from all accounts. Yeah. Um I hope things get better. Like because I like some of the stuff they do. I was a huge fan of StarCraft back in the day. Original or second? Original. I've never played the second one. I really wanted to and I never did. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know. I heard it was it was a different kind of playstyle too. Mm. And a lot of pros went back to one, I believe. But I don't know if that's yeah, still the particularly case. Particularly the what's the shit, the Cream. The expansion. Oh yeah. What's the expansion for? One. Bl Brood. The yeah, Brood Wars. Brood Wars. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yep. That was that was my my era of uh, StarCraft. <laughs> yeah, I I never played it as much. My brother was into that. Well, mm. no. I just liked stuff with build build orders and things like. That. <laughs> yeah. I liked Age of Empires as well, and uh, you know, a little bit of Civ. So, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, we'll be back. Yeah, next week mm -hmm. with more Steins Gate. The last, technically, the last part of the official Steins Gate season one. Um, well, you got the OV. The OV, the OVA is technically not part of the first season, though, isn't it? That's an addition. I, yeah, it's kind of like bolted on. <laughs> type thing. It's an addendum. I think it's basically like here. Here, this is what what what's happening here now, after the whole yep. events and you know they're all all good type stuff. It's like oh. a for the people. It's like oh, I don't like ending on the a cliffhanger like that type thing. I need to know. Now you've told me it's a cliffhanger. Damn it. Yeah, cliffhanger. Yeah. Okay, right. Before we we reveal any more, mm -hmm. um, we'll be back. Yeah, this is next it. week. Yeah. Same anime place, same anime time. Yeah. See you then, guys. Ciao. Bye, folks. Bye.